a case like Darfur when people are really traumatized of what happened. I might say that I saw this almost the same experience of genocide in Rwanda. Uh, but, I mean, it happened inside the country, I was inside the country. It's not like the survivors of the genocide being now outside of the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then sometimes you feel that they really need to, 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 to get, I mean, they really need to, 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 to be trusted. For them to feel that they are gaining back their hum, humankind. The human kind. Yes. You were in Rwanda in 1994. Yeah, I was there. Um, and actually, I'm the survivor of the genocide. You're a survivor. Mm -hmm. what, what was uh, what were your feelings when you heard about what was going on in Darfur, having been in Rwanda in 1994? Uh, did you see a connection? Uh, do you see a connection with the, what you see in the people? Yeah. The 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 first thing that ha that came to me when I heard about Darfur was that when is the international community going to take the the, ha the things in the hand in their hands mm -hmm. to stop genocide because it's kind of it is kind of it moves from one country to another mm -hmm. and everyone is there it's, it's like everyone to to, to 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 observe and then to realize mm -hmm. and then i said why should the international community stand up and set up some preventive measures i do accept and I do agree with the sovereignty of the countries. But if a country cannot defend its population and worse go, goes to kill its own people, mm -hmm. what is the role of the international community? What is the role of everyone to say, hey, we have to stop that. We cannot go on like that. Mm -hmm. These are human beings who are being slaughtered innocently. Mm -hmm. this, is my, what, this was my first feeling. Mm -hmm. I said, after Rwanda, why is that for there? How can it be happening again? Yes, yeah. We will be singing every time, it will never happen again, it will never happen again and again, and it, it, it happens every day. It's right. from an area to another, it happens every day. Yeah. Well, what were you doing in, in 1994? I was translating for the, uh, mm, the General Dallaire. Oh, the, for General Dallaire. Yes. For the, One the, of our heroes. Yeah. The uh, the first commander of UNAMI. Okay, yeah. and, and what was that experience like to be there and seeing it from that vantage point, being with UNAMIR? Um, the experience was um, um, the experience. The first thing I saw was the weakness of the uh, UNAMIR. Yeah and broadly the international community to react on what was going on in Rwanda. That was my first frustration. Mm -hmm. To see that we have an international peacekeeping force being in Rwanda, genocide being committed in front of them and everyone was helpless. The victims were helpless, UN was helpless. No one could just go jump into and say why don't we stop this genocide which is possible which was possible <laughs> do you uh see that there's hope for what is happening today in Darfur? Is, it, is something different from back in 1994? Now we're uh, going on three years since uh, the think, crisis in Darfur started. I think there is hope. There is hope because uh, the international community has moved, moved, moved in. Uh, there are negotiations going, out, going on in, in Abuja. I mean, the, there are contacts with uh, embassies uh, with the country uh, around Sudan to see what can be done to stabilize the, 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 the area. Mm -hmm. um, the whole problem being today that um, there are a lot of factions, fighting factions in Darfur and 
once the international community can just put hand on them and say, stop it, these people can return. Because the refugees, they, they need to go back. Mm -hmm. They need to go back, but yet they still fear about their security when they go back. I think they have saved it to you when you met them. Mm -hmm. They want to go yeah. back. They want to go back because they like, they, they like their country. They like their country. You can see it. Each time they could get a time to jump on the other side, they would do. But security situation is a concern today. Because they do really suffer. If, if you see how these people live in uh, old tents, mm -hmm. if you see how these people, they, I mean, they, yeah, we, give, we give them assistance. They have food. They have non-food items. But that's not enough. These are people who has who were used to 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 to, to cultivating their 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 farm their farms. These are people who have, who have uh, raised their cattle in the future, and they would like to go back to, to their normal to their normal situation.